Hey, hey, I'm back. I'm back with uh, some football manager. 2020, 2021. Uh, I played the Chicago Fire <laughs> last year. This time I did a 2020 save. So I'm going to do a 2021 save with the Chicago Fire. Um, which is my hometown club, as it were. I've already kind of um, done some of the preamble stuff because it does take a little bit to load with the big old database. This version of Football Manager doesn't have a whole lot of changes, uh, but it definitely has some. Um, we probably will ignore most of them. All right, uh, so tactics, we're not, we know what we're doing with tactics. We're using a flat 4-3-3 style uh, that has been around forever now from this guy, Dark Axis. Dark Axis. Um, this is on the, um, this is on the, uh, the the Steam Workshop. Works real well. Um, the other thing we want to do here is load the same tactic, right? And change the mentality to, let's go with um, balance. We'll probably never use this. And then we'll still save it, save save its name because holy shit. Um, we're just gonna put it down. I'm gonna change this name here to balanced. Uh, and this is primarily to get rid of like the the complaint from the uh, assistant manager. And then um, we're not ready to do that yet. Uh, set pieces. This is not how you do it. Where do I set the set piece tactics? And how do I do that? I don't actually remember. That's takers. Um, and you know, obviously that's one thing, but I'll auto that anyways. Match plans. Op instructions, I'll never do those. Francisco Calvo is the captain, huh? That's an interesting choice. That'll last. And by that, I mean it probably won't last. Uh, what, am I crazy here? Here we go. Uh, load. No. Load. It's not there. Cloud. Hmm. It's not there. I know, I know I've downloaded it or selected it. Look at that. The old ones are there. Set pieces. It didn't, it didn't come down. I'm sure I've gotten it. Here's my review. <laughs> Everything new sucks. That's about right. I'm still up to 57 hours though. But everything new does suck. Uh, there's basically nothing added by the way they've changed the management screen and stuff like that. Your files. Files that you subscribe to. Yeah, the corners are here. Let me un uh, I just want to unsub resub because it clearly didn't download them. Okay. See if we have to quit out and go back in. I'm not sure. I think we might have to. Low routine. Yeah. That's weird though. Let's uh, let's quick game save it. RWB Chicago. Uh, the the management of the Chicago Fire has decided that they're going to recruit players exclusively from outside the country. Um, and and get rid of all the American players. That really seems to be a plan that they have. They have promoted one American player, one local boy, as it were, Mauricio Pineda, and I think he's very promising. But at the same time, they sold the kind of talismanic uh, player, uh, Georgi Mihalovic, who uh, has got... No business not playing for his hometown team unless he's playing for a bigger club. Like if a player is going to go to uh, Europe or uh, shit, even the Mexican League because they're that good. Uh, okay. But Georgie was sold to Montreal. 
uh, for just under a million dollars. Um, and it's it's fucking tragic. Uh, let's see about getting those set piece uh, items in. <laughs> I've now forgotten where to get them again. Uh huh. Corners. Routine. Load routine. It's still not there. What I don't understand. Did it put it somewhere else? Like in tactics? Oh. It's just not downloaded it. What does the um what does the workshop screen say for it? Cause I think that's weird. Say anything. Yeah, this one. And this side. It's a very different tactic, obviously. Uh, doesn't say anything. MCR and MCLs. Uh, it's subbed. I put it. I put it in there. It's like it didn't download it. There is that thing, right? Um, God, I haven't. I haven't needed to do this. Uh, I. I don't even remember how. Mm, load all routines. Yeah. Load. Load routine. It's just not there, and it's not finding it either. Normally, hmm, why not? It's like Steam is broken in that regard, isn't it? I, I really want it. Uh, it's pissing me off that I can't get it. Uh, I mean, and that's definitely not it, right? Yeah, that's definitely not it. Why didn't it come down with the fucking download and the restart? Uh, let's try this. Let's quit. We don't need to save it because it's already been saved. Uh, library, football manager, manage. Uh, what, verify it? That might do it? Kind of like they're gone. Validating. I, you already validated. It's still validating, even though the actual dialogue for validating has gone away. That's Steam for you. Uh, right. I mean, I haven't seen it do anything different, so I don't believe that that actually is going to help. I don't want to unsubscribe. These are all just tactics. There's nothing, nothing weird here or anything. Uh, I've tried removing it and re-adding it, and that didn't work. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at a loss for what to do. Cause you can't load this like the way that you sometimes have to do with tactics, right? In the library. Mm hmm. Might try quitting out of Steam? Uh, which I never do. Oh god. Thanks for the credits. Uh, oh, it went right in. Hmm. Oh my god, it went right in. Oh, I beg your pardon. I beg your fucking pardon. There. I'm in the right folder, right? Is is it sitting in here? Uh, there is no set piece folder in 2020. Uh, which is interesting, isn't it? It's just in the wrong fucking spot. Yeah, nothing there. There's just nothing there. 
I mean, obviously I've been able to load tactics too, so there's something there's something amiss here. But who knows what it is? If I go into the tactics main page, plus load tactic, no trouble there. They're all listed as local. Hmm. I don't want to have to re manually recreate this fucking set piece. That's gonna take forever. Also, I don't, I don't, um, I don't have the competency to do it. Your files, subscribed items. And... Yeah, yeah, this guy right here says it. Um, yeah, it's not fucking there. Oh, oh, what the fuck, Steam? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand why it's not working. I've subscribed and resubscribed to it. I've started and restarted the program. I haven't restarted Steam, which I suspect I have to try now because I can't think of anything else to do. Quick game and exit. Yeah. Um, no, don't save. Hold on. I don't want that. No. That one. I'm in the library, obviously. So I'm going to quit and restart Steam. Which I never do. <laughs> like, I don't ever do it. Now, am I going to have to log in? Because I have no fucking clue what my Steam password is. Story of my life. No. Uh, oh, you get that weird what's up news from Steam? Never see that page ever. Uh, Football Manager 2021. It didn't, it, it doesn't claim to have a pending update or anything. Just play and see what, what it does. Play. If that worked, I don't know what's going on. Is it broken then? It's kind of like it's putting it in a different place or something. Oh god, all these fucking text screens. Come back in. It's like Patrice Ever analog there. Uh, downloads. Uh, this is what's actually in the fucking in game store. Let's see. Gold Machine Right is there. Gold machine left is there, so they're, they're both showing here. Where is it? Where is it though? Can it, can it tell me that? Because it doesn't appear to be where it's supposed to be. Uh, all right, I got an achievement for going to the the store. That's fantastic. I wonder if I'm set for pounds or dollars, I don't remember. I think I'm probably set on pounds. Because I mainly play in England. Tactics. Set pieces, corners. Drop down box. Low routine. It's not there. Where could it be putting it? Where do you think it's be, It's actually putting it? Because it's not putting it in the right place. Um, let's cancel that. Let's look for it. Uh, start uh, TKS. No, I didn't say open it in fucking Bing. Oh, fuck. I forget. I forget how much I hate Windows uh, 10. Like, because I, I, I rarely interact with it, to be honest with you. It's, it's the bottom layer, you know? And I don't have to, like, tweak my computer all the time or something like that. It, it works. And I buy games through Steam and I play games through Steam. 
And I barely even use the web browser on this computer for what it's worth because I have another computer right here <laughs> that I use the web browser on. I'm looking, I'm searching for it. I'm doing like a, a directory search. It has found no results so far. It's exciting. Just 15 minutes of this. <laughs> but I have to let go without it. It's weird. It's really weird. Is it like hidden under balance somehow for some reason? Nope. You know what it is? Ah, oh, no, I'm an ass. I, I figured it out, though. I figured it out. It is. This is the defense of, of the set piece. And that's that's obviously not right. The, the other one's already there. I don't have a defensive set piece. I have an attacking set piece. Um, I'm sorry, that's dumb. <laughs> I mean, I was wrong, but I feel like that's kind of dumb. So you, you need to use your MCR and your MCL to actually take them, right? Though it doesn't actually say that's what's happening here. Because the MCL is fucking here. Alright. Uh, Club Visions. I, I never really pay attention to this. I've never really been called out on it. This is hilarious. Uh, as it's clearly not true with the current club. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, I know most of these rules pretty well. I, I watch the MLS. No more than six players with reserve contracts means no more. You, you can't you can't just shove everyone on minimum salary. It actually becomes a problem like later on when you're trying to stay competitive. That's my experience. All right, so this squad is full of chaff. <laughs> like it really is. There's like a whole bunch of people who don't belong in this squad. I'm not gonna just like dump every um, international right away. Uh, let me add their flag though. Uh, nationality. Uh, so there's a couple really good players. Gaston Jimenez is a very good player. He could definitely compete at a higher level than the MLS. Robert Barrick's all right. Shemi uh, Fanskowski. Uh, the American crop is not great, but then there's a bunch of useless non-Americans, like Alceda, who might develop one day in real life. In game, though, that's not how the game fucking works. Uh, Carlos Turan, who in real life has an amazing throw. He's got a long, flat throw that's like Rory DeLap-esque. Uh, and he has an 8 here. Like, this guy has played like, I don't know, 30 minutes of football in the United States. And the only thing worth noting about him is, in fact, his long throw. But, you know, the idea that I would pay this guy this much fucking money, it's crazy. Um, uh, Mike Azira is old. Yeah, so let's see. We want to transfer Mike Azira. And, and he, he'll, we'll get rid of him for free because he's old. And... Um, Generally speaking, because we're going to be trying to get rid of some of these foreign players, we're, we're going to lose money on them. But I don't, I don't actually mind. Uh, <laughs> the, if the board doesn't mind, which is a real problem. In this version, the board objecting to transfers is a serious issue. So there's a lot of young American players in this side that aren't ready yet. And there are some that are, are probably okay. Like, Andre Reynolds could probably go. He didn't get real minutes in real life. Oh, his mentals are pretty good, though. Um, he got barely any minutes last season, IRL, but, um, you know, I think he's probably developed to the point where he might be worthwhile. So we're going to send some of these people to Madison, our, our, our affiliate. Uh, all of these guys. Alan Rodriguez might keep? No, no, he's not ready. Car Sparrow, no, uh, he, he can go. Uh, he can go, he can go for free. Uh, off red clubs. I'll be lucky to get rid of people like Connor Sparrow. Um, he doesn't cost a lot of money, but he's not good enough to stay. And you don't need three goalkeepers in this game. Maybe you do in real life. 
Uh, why can stay Elikaye Collier? He's actually got dual nationality, I think, in real life now. Not in game, though. Maybe he's just got a uh, green card. Offer clubs. Uh, Miguel Navarro. I think in real life this kid's really promising. In game, I don't think he's very good. I also think he's getting paid more money than that in real life. Uh, he's certainly not not substantially better than um, Andre Reynolds, who is an American. So, like, if you look at Reynolds. Fuck, I mean, Reynolds is, is, is better in almost every way there. Um, I would rather have Reynolds as well, of course, because he's an American. And that's the whole point of this playthrough anyway. So maybe sometime I'll do a Chicago Fire one where I um, I uh, buy up all the international slots from other clubs <laughs> and just play with them. Gutierrez, I mean, he might be on the fringe. We might not send him to Madison. Javier Casas, he'll go to Madison. Alex Manis, uh, hmm, he might be able to stay as well. We'll see. That's on the edge for, for, for MLS. Brant will stay. Uh, Pineda will stay. Georgie will stay. All right, and then some of these uh, foreign players are very expensive, right? Like, we're going to have trouble getting rid of him because uh, the, the board will want a lot of money for him. Uh, what, did we, what did we theoretically pay for him? 2.3 million, Jesus Christ. Uh, transfer offer to non-MLS clubs. We'll do unspecified, see if somebody will offer something for him. John Bornstein is too old. And um, though he's useful, in real life he's like a cagey veteran who knows what he's doing. We don't, we don't want him. Go away. Um, Shuttles will be our starting keeper. We'll put him in there. Cronome will keep for one season and then let go. We'll keep him as backup. Uh, Madron is very good IRL. He's a great player. I fully expect him to leave the fire at some point because he's too good to play in the MLS. I think this underrates him as well. I think this attribute. His mentals are all real high. I think he's actually just got personally a, a, an injury history, and that's caused him some trouble. Uh, uh, we're gonna have trouble getting rid of some of these guys. Um, so Rob Barrick's finishing, 14, 13. Guess on Jimenez, best as a DLP. Uh, we've, we've marked some for trades, so we'll we'll. We'll try this. How is Jimenez set piece actually? Uh, is that a free kick? Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, so he's gonna play in that DLP spot here. Um, probably want Pineda in the BWM. I think he's severely underrated here. He's he's a very good uh, prospect for the club as well. This is insane. I don't know about his leadership ability, but that's insane. How 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 do you make that judgment in the first place? Um, we'll put Pineda in there, I think, as the ball-winning midfielder. I think we'll put Georgie on his right as well. Um, this he's seriously underrated here too. Uh, I think uh, Georgie is probably one of the better attacking midfield players in the MLS of American origin. And so Madron is a great player, and we're going to end up playing him quite a bit. But you know, we're we're trying to build for our preferred side, not not necessarily the best side right now. Um, so we want. Oh, he's already in. Shadow Wars already in. Great. So, uh, so probably Reynolds is our preferred left because he's American. Even though there's probably better choices, I think given that the right 
think we might be um, talking about fucking Grand Veronica there. Uh, who, who, who has some familiarity with right back apparently. Uh, turn him off the transfer list. I didn't do that. He was that way when I came in the game. He's going to be a right back for now. We'll probably have to find a right back. And remember, we're preferring American players. So CJ, since he's right footed, huh? He plays mostly on the left when he was at Chicago. Um, he's gone now. I don't know if he's been picked up somewhere. He's a pretty good player, uh, even though he's, you know, 32 now, I guess. But um, uh, he's a pretty good player, and I think Chicago uh, are, are, uh, are going to be a less, less potent team without him. Though he did uh, spend most of the season out. But COVID is so weird. It's really ruined a lot of careers. We're paying him a lot of money. We'll see if that stays that way in game. I think we'll probably start him on the right of the attacking formation as a as a deep lying forward there. Um, where'd he go? Here he is. So we'll put him there. Um, you know, Shemishov Frankowski. That's how you pronounce this. Shemmy Shaw. I'm pretty sure that's right. Shemmy Shaw. Uh, I he does not have dual nationality. <laughs> he's 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 got a kid. The kid's pretty young, like maybe 18 months, two years. But the kid's got like natural born soccer instincts. And on on the um, on the Twitterverse, you can see the kid take shots at goal. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, the kid's got, got quite the little kick in him. Wow, I don't think he's on that much money in real life either. Well, that's even that's pounds even. Let's uh, let's adjust that. Uh, let's let's put it in dollary dues. Uh, currency. U.S. dollars. Ingram. Like I say, I play mostly in play mostly in them. Um, in England, so that's why I have that unit set for that. All right, so is there another useful American player for the strike position or for center defense? White Osberg is an American. Um, is he left-footed? Yeah, he's left-footed. He'll be there. This is, again, preferred, not actual. Selena's too young and not developed enough. Rands from out of out of country. Uh, Cronholm will be our our sub goalkeeper, so we'll put him there as twelve. Um. So we're missing two strikers and a uh, right-footed defender uh, of American origin right now. I think we just don't have a, a choice there. Uh, like I said, Selena's too young. He's an American. Um, he's probably ready to be on the bench for this team. And he can play left back and midfield too. So yeah, let's make him a sub. We'll make him like a sub three. Because he can play here or here. So he'll get rotation. Um... Can I send? I don't. I because I think they're on, because because they're on vacation. I'm not sure I can actually send the kids to Madison yet. I'd be sending him. I'd be sending Alan Rodriguez, Chris Brady, Gab Salina, who is related to uh, Nick Salina. They're brothers. Uh, Javier Casas as well. And Alex Manus. Oh, let me double check Manus. Let's send these guys. So these guys will go to Madison, but I'm not actually sure I can do it. Yeah, I, I, it's it's not that I can't loan him. It's that um, they're on vacation, so they're not actually uh, distributable right now. Manus seems worthwhile there. Oh, look, he could strike. His finishing's not great. 
Uh, wait, what's his natural position? It's winger, but... Oh, is it winger support? Nope. AP support? AP attack? Hmm. He's right-footed, right? Yeah. He, he could, I, could, I could swap him and Sapong around. Let's do that. Let's put Sapong over here. And we'll look for a, an American with, with high finishing. Put there as well. So, uh, Brian Gutierrez. Have him on the bench as, as, as the first for this position. Um, maybe we should just freeze out everybody who's not American right away. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. Um, sure, I'm not getting any Americans in here by accident. Bornstein's out too. He's just too old. Seculek, Calvo, Turan, Kapelhoff. We're going to put all of them on the transfer list. Um, we'll try to ha we'll, we'll have to do the hard work of selling them in a bit, I think, now. And most of these other people are... Actually, he should be transfer listed as well. He is already. Most of these other kids are going to Madison. So the other thing we need to do then is... Um, let's check our staff real quick. Coaches. And physios. Um, Alright, let's look at that for coaches real quick. What we're doing who we're doing it with. All right, generally, I do this with, with Tom Soccer because he's so good. Uh, Logan Paws is... Uh, we'll, we'll undo everything else here. Do we have any specific ones? Oh, we have a fitness coach here. Not great. A goalkeeping coach, also not great. Let me look at them. 2022. Ah, what the fuck? I hit back and doesn't go back. It's because it's in a sub window. I don't know why they bury stuff like this. Logan Paws, defending tactical. All right. Uh, David Zildrich, possession tactical. Okay. Uh, and what system, though? And Frank Klappas, club legend, attacking tactical. All right. So we can then um, we can drop all tacticals for me, for for the player character. Do all technicals there. Let's get a fitness coach, and maybe a goalkeeping coach. Yeah, and we won't renew either one of those guys. I don't think, but the other ones are okay for MLS. Let's look for a fitness coach. Uh, let's look by raw fitness first and see what we can't find. We'll try to be preferential this way too. So let's add a nationality filter. So he's at Birmingham, Dan Barlow. We'll have to pay for this guy. Do you want to do you want to come to America? I'll pay you more money. We'll, we'll sign you up for a long time too. Uh, that much. Come on over. Uh, and then we were going to look at uh, goalkeeping. Um, yeah, let's do all three goalkeeping stats and see what we come up with. I feel like this is one of those things where they haven't really... There's no, There was no point to subdivide the goalkeeping training like this. Like, I can understand that might be that way in real life, but it doesn't add anything to the game. How how is he compared to our current guy, who is Aiden Brown? Uh, uh, I don't know. What. <laughs> um, Aiden Brown's actually slightly better, so this would be more about labor then. Like, so this might add a half star or a star to goalkeeping because he'll be. Uh, Sattler will be on the, um, you know, shot stopping or whatever. His, um, 
to the Armada. Yeah, let's try to sign him. Should we do him for five years? Oh, it's sure it's simpler to not have to do it again. We're gonna do that. Four years, but we're not gonna pay him that much. We'll put him here. He wants 102,000. That is too much, dude. He'll take 78, though. That's quite the difference in salary. I'm not sure people would actually do that. So that's goalkeeping, that's fitness. There's one other slot available. Um, if we had to address a specific point of weakness. Like if I if I were doing only one category, would it be five stars? Yeah. So attacking technical or defending technical? Uh, no, that's fine. Staff. Search for an American who has high technical coaching. I know there are other stats that are technically useful, but uh, I find filtering by uh, a group of complex stats doesn't get you anywhere. Joe Jacksmore, Joe Maxmore, he's unemployed. Attacking technical. Okay. Uh, all the way up, and then I don't know, like 66k. Oh. 73k. Oh. 78k. That's, that's the deal. $30,000 less than you wanted. Doesn't seem realistic, does it? Alright. So, going back to our formation, we need a striker and a right footed defender uh, that are American. And the reality is. is like Kabelhoff will probably stay around for a year and so will Calvo because we'll have trouble selling all the people we want to sell. <laughs> Let's look for a forward first. Uh, Benjamin Ofame. Ofame. Mm -mm. Nice, a 35-year-old Albanian, 38-year-old Albanian who's playing for the Cosmos is highly recommended. Oh. I didn't fill out staff. I don't have any physios. I got half scouts, but you don't really need that many scouts, so let's uh, let's get a physio or two. Uh, we'll just do it here. Uh, no, I guess we won't. Uh, pick physiotherapy. Okay, there's more choices than I would have expected. Filmador. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Well, he wants a lot of money. Filmador. He's a doctor, so. Uh, 78k. Filmador. Is this guy a real person? Should we look him up? Nice. Filmador. Let's see. Does he have a, do you have a real history? Born in D.C. in August 1981. Looks like he might have actually been a physio. Hmm. Filmador. Filmador. Okay, uh, what's next? Should I get a second physio? Because there was other choices, yeah. Russell Steves. Ooh, he's fine. Russell Steves, you're you're the man. Oh, I didn't I didn't just accidentally hire uh, Filmador for head physio, did I? I have to double check. No. Don't ask for crazy money. Uh, I could probably give you like, um, no, no bonuses. Here, do it or don't. No. All right. Did I, did I fucking offer him head fit? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. All right, Fumador. And then Frank Penny, I guess. He's ahead though already at Dynamo Academy. So he's not going to take a, 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 a reduction. There's nobody here. That's surprising. I'm sure there is a, a nearly unlimited number of Americans who want to be physios IRL. Uh, wow, there's just nobody there. Octavio Tobar. Uh, okay. He's not great, so, you know, whatever. We'll just do a year for him. Because we might have to find a different guy after that. One year, dude. 
Move to Chicago for you. Alright, two years, fine. Alright, that fills out the physio. So we need a striker. Uh, we want a striker. We want them to be an American. Uh, realistically, anybody playing in the MLS is probably inaccessible to us. Unless they're put on waivers. Um, so, well, <laughs> that that's just how it is. Because we don't have the money here. What do we have um, in uh, special special funds? We need specific funds. We have 590k remaining in our cap. We'll fix some of that by getting rid of some of the foreign players. Uh, and we have 1.8 in the transfer kitty, but that's for foreign players. Or non-MLS more accurately. And we have 475,000 gym. We've used 2 million already. So we could just wait around to the draft and see what's in the draft, because that's coming up. Um, let's just find out if there's if there's someone out there uh, for free first. Fucking Jordan Morris. DK. Saw him play last week. He's clumsy. He's big, though, man. He's broad-shouldered and strong. I think, you know, they probably don't rate him fairly here. 17, okay. Uh, that's That feels accurate for DK. DK's a big dude with a big set of shoulders. He's tall. Um, he played for the U.S. national team in their friendly last friendly. It was like a week ago or two weeks ago. And uh, he seems to lack finesse. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure he'll ever be like a top-tier American striker as it stands. But he's young, so you never know. People can develop, and, and strikers seem to develop touch, you know, over time. If you look at somebody like Zlatan or, or um, I don't know, um, Cavani. They didn't start that good with the ball at their feet or as critical goal scorers. Christian Ramirez is on the transfer list. 29, he's a little bit older. Costs a lot of money. I might be able to get Houston to give me this guy for free. Since he's transfer listed. It's hard hard to say. They don't believe he has a long-term future. I mean, he's 29. Is he better than Robert Barrick out of curiosity? About the same player. Um, Barrick's got him beat in some categories. They're not far off. So Christian Ramirez would not be a terrible choice if he was accessible. A little bit older than I'd like. Too old. Um, and, the, and the club wants us to sign young people, so we may not, um, that may not be positive, but we don't have a striker in the system, so who, who, who is in here? There'll be nobody here, I'm sure. I would know about them in real life. I, I say that, but this guy's not horrible. Look at his finishing. He's a regen. This isn't a real person, right? I've never heard of him. Uh, his finish is great. Let's give him a contract. And let's, you know, it's children, so you should, you should, you should, um, we should probably pay him senior because there's a limit on reserve and we're probably already there, right? Uh, oh, well, we might not be there. Um, what's the limit on reserve? Six reserve players. And we are at the limit. So if we pay, we can't pay him reserve if we plan on playing him. If, we, if we're gonna, if we're going to loan him out we could pay him reserve but we're gonna put him on senior minimum instead which is 80 or something yeah uh, this is probably too much to pay this kid in america but um the roster is such is constructed in a you know very specific fashion and you can't 
I can't pay him twenty thousand dollars less. Um, I mean, I'm excited about fifteen finishing. So I mean, there are definitely worse regens than than a guy like this. And then the other thing we were looking at, right, was a right-footed defender, right? Um, yeah, a right-footed defender. So what, this guy, Reese Cox, <laughs> um, he's probably not ever good enough to play. Jose Thomas, Jose Tomas Mendoza, um, Jar Sanchez. Um, so none of those guys are are really very good. It's hard to say who will develop and who won't, but. You know, is there any other surprises down here? Because I mean, honestly, this guy. Look at look at um, Elliot Collier. Collier. Eh? You know, and this you know they're both on senior minimum for what it's worth. This guy's uh, eight years older. In real life, we call him Kiwi Messi. Elliot Collier is Kiwi Messi. Not because he's actually very good. Um, oh, he's he's foreign. Is he got dual nationality? Yes. So he he is an American. He just has the Chinese Taipei. Um, which is actually Taiwan, right? Chinese Taipei is actually Taiwan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Who knew that football manager were cowards? Is this guy got dual nationality? No, he's just Mexican. Uh, he's at 1,257 though, so he'd need two years. Hmm. This is the fun part of the game for me, uh, looking at players. Like, I, d I don't even really like the rest of the game. Uh, where'd he go? Um, Ricardo Israel Garcia. Boy. Is it worth, is it worth, um, but like, giving him a contract and moving him to Madison or Indy? He has only needs two years. How old is he? He's 16. He'll definitely get it. Let's offer him a contract too. At senior minimum, minimum. For two years. Or for three years. Did um when we Matt Lucas? Oh he's seventeen. Uh right, so we're looking for other surprises in our academy. Really any position at this point, though, because we've exhausted the ones that we actually needed. Alright, is there a goalkeeper worthwhile? This dude's better than fucking Selena. Who in real life is actually quite good. Gabby Selena played for... Oh no, it's Chris Brady I'm thinking of. Man, maybe we should sign Malcolm Martinez to a contract too. Uh, what about compared to Chris Brady? In real life, Chris Brady started a whole bunch of games for... Uh, Madison, which is a fire affiliate in Wisconsin, in Madison, They're called Forward Madison, I think. Um, and so this is, I honestly think that's severely underrating him, uh, underrating him. I think he's significantly better than that. Let's sign Malcolm Martinez as well. And we'll do the same thing with him. We'll, um, we'll give him a senior minimum. The rest of these guys, not worthwhile. So we didn't solve any problems except for the striker problem. So let's go back into the scouting and look for an American defender now. Uh, defender center. This guy, I don't think we'll be able to sign him for 1.8 mil. We could probably loan him back. What's what's wrong with these at Hammy? Um, 
Look at the amount of money they're paying him. I'll be right back. 